Let's do a quick and dirty video on how much power this thing produces. I've got another video on this on setting it up and running it. And there we go. It'll take a little bit to get it started. I'm guessing with these glass cylinders, you don't want to just let the flame sit there and idle underneath it. You want to keep it pumping because as it pumps, it removes heat. You don't want the glass to kind of heat up just in one location. Almost. Okay, there we go. I have to put a windbreak here. So it looks like 2.7 volts, 2. Point, yeah, roughly call it 3-ish volts. Let's see what we got over here for amps. Yeah, okay, that, uh, oh, that can't be right, 18, 19 milliamps, I guess it could be, 20 milliamps, um, let's just go for full amps, no, it's not producing amps, so, looks like 30 milliamps, yeah, 31 milliamps, that's not too bad. Let's go back to the voltage. Okay. Uh, 4.5, uh, so it looks like it's in the roughly 4-ish range. Bobbing up and down. Definitely want a voltage regulator on this. But, uh, yeah. Not too bad. Uh, about the same as a couple button batteries or so. Okay, well that was it for this uh, test of generation power from a Sterling engine with a uh, little generator on it. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your Sterling engine experimentation.